Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 50, part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It is still my mother's birthday, and Shan's mother's birthday. Happy birthday to them both. And Scott, when he is a mother, it is his birthday. And, um, <laughs> it's the 29th of May, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half of Druid. I'm Sean. I play Bastiel, the Warforged Cleric. Hi. I'm Scott. Today, I will be playing Crumbar, who is a half art paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kit and Anastasia, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. Was I the only one there that was totally waiting for Scott to somehow fuck it up? I was expecting me to play them through the round winners today. (laughs) (laughs) I think I should give Ryan at least one. I mean,. I've been saying that for years, Scott, but uh, <laughs> here we are, still um, doing this dance. <laughs> anyway, so across the stone table sits Don Drabella in deep thought about the offer to go off into a cold mountain looking for the Winter King. And then, uh, she leans forward and she says, When are you thinking about leaving? <laughs> well. Oh, just the library? <laughs> as soon as possible. Hmm. In the next day or two. Oh, hmm. wait, hold on. Sorry. Out of game. This hmm. the, the way we change the goal to be focused on that one goal to be focused on the Hellblades. Uh, can we just act on that as characters? Like, our characters want to do that, and it's a given. Or do we now have to find a way to flag up the Hellblades? I feel like it needs to be at least brought up in the chat, right? Like, I feel like you just need to actually speak about it. Okay, we should talk about it with each other. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Otherwise, you just get meta knowledge, which is a, a no-no, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, Players yeah. are allowed to discuss goals. Goals can be understood from a player point of view but it's something that your character needs to be able to complete if you're saying okay cool so that time ryan when we all went for coffee seven years from now when we're all level eight and um, we're level eight i said sorry seven years from now if you listen to all the dialogue <laughs> and we all go for coffee because it's post lockdown worlds um it was a joke you see let's uh, yeah the joke is that we'd go for coffee i mean really yeah i know right no, who would leave their house um, well, I'm, I'm sorry, what's coffee? No, we'd be going to the pub. Oh, we'd leave it for coffee. Oh. Oh. So, I left mine to get some this quick. <laughs> 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 it was the big clubs of £2 in Sainsbury's. I was like, right, I need to I need to get my crap together and bring the buses. It's just st- staring at yourself in the mirror for 20 minutes to be like, you can do this, Sophie. <laughs> I need to get my quick on. You start seeing a Nesquik rabbit in the mirror instead. Um, <laughs> I'd run out of chocolate, all right? I'd just- it's my thing at the minute. Chocolate milkshakes, man. You know what happened? So, right. my point, so though, yeah. my point, though, was, right, you can act on meta-knowledge as a character. So, that, that goal <laughs> was meta-knowledge, since it's never really been discussed, other than what the king has snippeted it, right? But you just haven't talked uh, about pursuing that as a collective. You just haven't really talked about talk, like pursuing an ancient elf either. So all of that is meta. Okay, so... Right. See like all the cutscenes to... that I do? It's why you just can't react to them in character, right? Same idea. <laughs> in response to... Uh, when are we setting out? I guess I'll just say... Um... Well, we said like the next day or two. And she's kind of sat back and she's like mulling it over. Uh, so do you want to lean, lean in and say something? Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have to get to a bo- uh, get to the bottom of a couple um, a couple things before we leave uh, this place of knowledge. I always head downwards when I try. What? And she looks at you. What? <laughs> get to the bottom of things. You go down. Oh, yeah, we did that. And I look up to the stone ceiling above us. We we we're, we're really far underground, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, or, or high up in a mountain, inside the mountain, who knows anymore? Like 
you're somewhere that you can't see the sky and there are no windows <laughs> and it's cozy cool. so yeah <clears throat> yeah um i think i did mention this place is slightly chiller than other places though this room yeah and there's like the whole food vaults where they're trying to grow stuff underground mm -hmm. i assume because it's so far away yep so better so, for the books not to be too hot yeah. um That's... but yeah so she knows one or two days so you'll do it i mean i've not said i will not said i wouldn't just trying to work out the kind of hurry user in mm -hmm. it's quite an exciting prospect uh, you know young maiden like myself kind of snorts um, <laughs> being asked out by some uh, buxom hero types she looks around the room and kind of like stifles a laugh tries to like put her serious face back on mm. and she's like you know, i got responsibilities here i mean if i just walked away i mean i mean you know you'd see when you get to my age now that i'm going to tell you what age that is You'd hope somebody would come looking for you if you go missing, but you know, maybe, maybe they would just assume I ran out of pages. Mm. <laughs> she just like starts like strumming her fingers on the diary, like, absent-mindedly, and she's like, "I think he's a deal. He <clears> looks <throat> like he's like to take risks. It's not a good thing, by the way. It's a bad look. You should get rid of that and wrap up. It's gonna be cold." <laughs> Um, what, take, take risks like drink mysterious bottles of not wine? <laughs> aye, like wow. if MD was stupid enough to do that, so no, nah, like that. I, um, I wouldn't do that. Always know what you're drinking. Um, not wine. And yeah. then uh, she's like, but I'd need to... She looks around. I don't know if I can just leave here. She looks like left and right. She's like, I'll, I'll need to find that answer first. But, you just need to find some answers. Number one. Why? These are all idiots. <laughs> number two. I know the number one's going to be difficult enough, but let's maybe focus on the list. Number two. And she... You can see she's clearly thinking about number one again. And she says, Well, if we get to the Palace of Mirrors, I'll handle that bit. She kind of waves a hand dismissively. That's yeah. tricky. But, you know, luckily I have a really nice reflection. Um, but you will... Anyway, he's, I'll handle that part. Mm -hmm. You will need something worth her time. Because, I mean, I work here. It's why I'm putting up with this conversation. She just kind of laughs at that. Mm -hmm. But... She's a king of wherever she damn pleases. You know? And she kind of like holds up, like she's still holding her second finger. And she's kind of like waving her hand at every day as she's pinching it with her other hand. Number so two is going to be tricky. So mm. what sort of things do you think she would appreciate? Do I look like I've got loads of bitch and dragon stuff? <laughs> yes. No, I'm asking you have the knowledge of these creatures, knowledge that we do not have. And I was just wondering from that knowledge and from your experience, what do her kind appreciate? What would it would be something that would make them interested and intrigued in giving us the time of day? She looks up at Bessie. She's definitely a bit elven, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> 20 words when one would have been fine <laughs> and she looks at you and she smiles like a kind of big toothy smile and she's like I like you you said a lot of nice things too quickly for me to really listen but <laughs> I got the gist of it because you smiled through most of it so that made me feel pretty good um, and she's still holding her second finger and she's like but number two is really, really, I mean, that's a big one. And then she goes, number three, it's a dragon, so that's scary. They don't like, not dragons, mostly. Um, mm -hmm. I think, and she like, goes, well, actually, no, I think I wrote that. And she like, turns her book back around the right way, and she like, starts looking through it. 
it says dragons like dragon things. She points at it in Dwarven. She's like, see, I wrote that here. See? And she taps her Well, that's head. why we need you. She rolls her eyes, and they do scream. And then she says, you know, I, mean, I, I got that after this. And she just looks at everybody looming at her. You know, this is, <laughs> this is, this is a high-pressure situation, you know? Luckily, I made a diamond. She just kind of nods at you. <laughs> and then, uh, like, is she actually? Because she could be a tanky fuck then. And she says, uh, "No, she was making a joke about pressure." And then, uh, then she was, uh, like, so three really makes me want to go back to one about why, but you've said that you want the red to do something. And at least you have got the right of it. If MD was going to tell the red what to do, the white's the one to go to. So, I mean, if I was daft enough to do that, I would go to the white. Because at least she'd maybe offer you tea if she cut your throat out, you know? Whereas you'd be the tea if you went to the red. Mm. Um, and then she kind of mutters something under her breath. And she says, So... If you just can work out, you know, a plan? She just looks at everybody slowly. I'll do the tricky mirror bit. Deal. That was awfully quick. Do you honestly think we can come up with a plan? We haven't managed to do it. <laughs> she just kind of raises an eyebrow at you and goes, ah, that's your problem. No, wait. Would the white appreciate jewelry or knowledge? Well, I was going to say, would me or Reach know anything about what dragons would like? Just because, you know, we do kind of sell one. What do you think dragons would like, right? Just this is me asking, gold. like, you. Right? Treasure. Yeah, right? So, yeah, I mean, treasure or gold. Gold. Or... gold. Um... What have you learned about the white? This is a better way to catalogue what your pool of knowledge is, right? So let's take a wee moment and just sit right here and talk about how we became the Winter King <laughs> of the Palace of Earth. <laughs> so, what do, you, what do you know about the white? List them. Um, they're women, mm -hmm. but they're a king. Mm -hmm. They like mirrors. I mean, do you know that? Not necessarily. <laughs> no. It's, oh, no, it's probably a defensive thing, but the sounds of it. Uh, uh, they're isolated. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on ice. Don't care for humans. Yeah. yeah. Um, is that or elves or dwarves. They're not uh, particularly aggressive. They don't, like really they don't, like... they don't really care for what's kind of happening. They just kind of let things do mm -hmm. its own thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, based on all that knowledge, right, what would you give someone like that? A Netflix subscription. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> would. But why would people want a Netflix subscription? To pass the time. Right. But... Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. To oh. watch Drift and Dragons, of course. <laughs> or a Switch. <laughs> uh, hmm. Maybe. Wait, maybe, right? Now, hear me out. This might get a bit morbid, but maybe they are literally just waiting... Out there, like uh, dragons aren't immortal in this, are they? I mean, have you asked a dragon? As good as because, yeah. Because what hmm. I was thinking is maybe they are if they've isolated, they don't care what's going on. Maybe they are just waiting out their life, right? So we can offer them death. Okay, at least that's a plan. You think they can't do that themselves? <laughs> No, because then they won't get into dragon heaven. Dragon Valhalla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or they sorry, need to die the yeah. uh, Okay, how about this? And I'll say this in character to everyone. Mm -hmm. Right, how about <clears throat> we wait on what your king has to say, Don Drabella. I know he isn't fond of the dragons, not one bit. But with you on our side, perhaps we can convince him to provide us with a gift. For this dragon, for the greater purpose of saving the dwarven people from the demons. Do you mean, my king? Yep. You think that? Possibly. Still. Surprises me. 
Mm. You had dinner with him? I mean... I know I look fancy, but... <laughs> I'm not, you know, high enough up the chain that I can just have dinner with the king whenever I want. You'd be coming as our guest. Another our reason. Guests. Oh, are you, you're inviting me to dinner with the king? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm. Not. Well, I guess we have to go and sort some stuff out, including, you know, get to the bottom of what the king has to say, right? Before we start putting things into motion with Dondrabella. Now, to pause this here, I. Arya. Did you have anything else you'd like to do other than be escorted to your colleagues? Because at this point you'll just have been escorted to the group. Ooh. Yay! I'm just back. Oh shit, I thought I'd return before you guys went to the to the thingy. Like, oh, no, like really not, because like, I, I think you were still with the king, were you not? Or had you already been back? I'm actually forgetting yeah, where I left you. I, I thought we were. I thought I was back. Yeah, she had. She just had that little conversation with Dondra Bella. Yeah. I know, but I'm wondering if that's. Te- I, I don't. I don't mind that having not happened. If technically she was still at the scene, but you know, like yeah, we can just have had you came back at some point and everybody's maybe noticed that oh, you're back now. I guess. Uh, yeah. I probably would just kept, crept into the room and like listened in and just piped up at that moment. Piped in at that moment. I just didn't want to have totally forgot all about you and have left you with the king in the dark eating like peaches and plums and <laughs> grapes and shit. Condemned. Yeah, just this is your new game, but finding your way out of this room in the dark while eating all of the fruit. Time's <laughs> labyrinth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's, uh, that's absolutely fine. I could have just uh, arrived a bit late because of that conversation and just piped in later on like mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, like maybe so when Crumbar was off walking away or something, yeah, maybe you'd appeared. I just didn't remember <laughs> reintroducing you, but I do remember Dondra Bella talking to you, and I'm like, well, she's obviously crazy. <laughs> That's okay, as long as you're you're in the scene. I just didn't want you to feel like you okay. spent a session sitting yeah. out. Because I'm like, did I leave other people elsewhere? Mm. <laughs> the joys of splitting a party for any reason. <laughs> oh, no. Good, you're all together. Good. It's on you, then, if yes. you're quiet. Good. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, because sometimes that's all I'm good at. The yeah, how do you just want to deal with the the scene in that way? Then, right? So she's still there. You obviously can still ask more questions or whatever. But she's pretty much like, I mean, sure, I'll go on this last adventure, I guess, with you guys, <clears throat> if you actually have a plan, which you don't have. And then you've said, it's okay, the king will give us a plan. And then she was like, Mm. ha, good luck. I think I have a question for her, Mm -hmm. actually. I'll be like, "Um, from all your travels and all the information you've been hearing about dragons, have you ever come across the idea of uh, a mistress of the flame? And at that point, I kind of like give Crombar a look kind of like don't you fucking dare say anything <laughs> <laughs> kind of like zip it I, I would just give a like, I would just give a reassuring nod god I want you to roll insight so hard right now to see if you understand that to be honest but I'm not gonna because it's so derailing um, for no, the purposes right, was, of I, my I, own I, curiosity though could you roll insight uh, yeah why isn't my character sh- oh yeah wait you need to that was- there we go uh, and we wait the ten years. Boop. Eating peaches. Boom, I totally got what you meant. Oh, 100%, yeah, definitely. Um, the first time in your life. <laughs> yes. I understand this, Lucas. Do not strike at me and also do not speak. <laughs> just, just don't. Yeah, just, just go don't. Go to the corner. <laughs> yeah, sit in the corner, shut up, sort of thing. <laughs> Do not talk to the corner either. <laughs> it might be alive, you don't know. But yeah, so I guess Crumbar then doesn't say anything, 
Um, and nope, Crumbard just gives a polite nod. Dondra Bell looks up and she's like, a mistress of the flame. Mm -hmm. a, a, some sort of being imbued with some powers to control. Some kind of fire flame. being, you say. She kind of nods at you. More like somebody that's been somehow suddenly dis discovering some powers related to fire. I don't know if dragons might be involved in this, but... Mm. Dragons do like their fire. They do! That's why I was thinking it might be somehow connected to them, but... Hmm. You know what? Never mind. I just thought I'd ask. I mean... And she kind of looks down at all the books and the, the, like the rows down further in the, the big room. She's like, you're welcome to look, but she just kind of shrugs. She's like, yeah, they're all going to be in dwarf and that's not going to help me. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, pivot around her towards the direction she pointed in with that fire talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to nod respectfully and be like, oh, thank you. I mean, I didn't do anything, but I okay. I just pointed to the books I point to. Beautiful. I know that away. She kind of just nods uh, back. Kind of I kind of don't want to tell her too much at the same time, mm -hmm. and also, like, I was just wondering, obviously, if she came across that exact phrasing, because that would have been interesting. If she had, she doesn't seem to be revealing. Yeah. So, right. It definitely seems oh, like yeah. either she knows nothing about it or. She's playing our cards close to her She's chest. Doing it. Yeah. yeah, of course. Um, it's not every day a bunch of randos come into your library and say, let's go find a dragon. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> and then let's, ask weird questions. Let's, mm -hmm. let's go find a dragon while we're at it. Who's this lady person I've been hearing so much about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, Bella sat back. Like she sat back in her chair and kind of slumped Captain Kirk style. And she's like thinking, leaning heavily on her arm. And she's like, have you come up with a plan yet? We all need to discuss it between ourselves first. Of, of course, I, I, talking. She kind of looks very briefly at Arya, and then looks back at you, Reach. You're a bit elven too, aren't you? <laughs> to me or Arya? I to you. <laughs> me. Sorry, you're uh, I presume story. that's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, considering earlier she said it means you like to talk a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she doesn't say it, like, with any kind of, like, malice or anything. It's all kind of said kind of teasingly. Um, There's a little bit of Elvin in the family. I understand. There's not very much of anything else. You're right. Stick it in. Still looking you up and down. Healthy eating. And lots of exercise. I must have had the unhealthiest diet. And she just looks down at herself as she sat slumped in the chair. She sits Aww. up. Sits up and like straightens her outfit up a bit. And then uh, she's like, you know, it'd be good exercise to get out. But I'd kind of like to see this marriage through. You know, this one at least. I think it's about time I died before one of them. You know, <laughs> come with us. We might help you with that. <laughs> Aye, but I should probably get married first. You know, like the union yeah, and all yeah. that. Aye, and then um, I'm in no rush to to hurry that along. This one's still a bit, you know, of a bad cook. So <laughs> until I, until I'm sure he can make something, you know, <laughs> she just kind of shrugs. So you can. Uh, come up with this plan with all your words and uh, come back to me and we'll, we'll, we'll see if, you know, your boat sails. Splendid. But we're not taking a boat. Cool. Somebody take his hand for him on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain to him sure. using small words. Don't okay. worry. Well, I'm sure you've got the words for it. He just smiles. 
Maybe pictures for him, actually. <laughs> she laughs. So that, I got some picture books if you need a hand. I'll be here. <laughs> or if I'm not, people will know how to find me. And she kind of just like, you know, waves you off, I guess. Cool, off we go. Uh, Arya, what, what was the king speaking to you about? I'll relay to them that um, essentially he's been doing and working on ways to um, make so that he can support his people without needing help from above ground and I will tell them that I purposely let out the fact that I could help make his soil very 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 uh, 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 um, I think fair to yeah, very fertile, yielding a lot Rather more than fertile. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, this will be in with the I king. So we could ask the king for a, a dragon's ransom for that. Ah, yes. Nice. Right. Okay, we trade. Good. Yeah. That's all I was wanting to say, by the way. <laughs> I was kind of well. That might be a way to convince him to join Something in battle. That the dragon wants. Uh, well, yeah. If, like, for example, if the dragon likes jewels, a jewel or something, the, the dragon would like... The Arkenstone! No, that's taken. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a bit above the wage, the price, but still. Mm. Dwarf guy's like, nah, my people can starve a bit longer, I like my shiny pebble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where do you tell the guard to escort you? Uh, is there outside the library? Is it? <laughs> like that matters in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot we were. What was the last meal we had? And... Uh, last meal uh, I was I at dinner. Will, I will be discussing with the guys uh, only we... after. Obviously, we're alone, not while the guard is there, because that would be bad. I mean, he's a polite uh, distance away, like... right? Oh okay. Are we being like sheep herded by these guards, so we don't, so they can like keep an eye on us, or do we have the freedom to just like sit here and look for books? I mean, I think I used um, all the words of guard and escort. Because <laughs> you don't know your way around the city. It's a friendly mm. escort, but it sounds like Yeah, yeah. You need to say, can you take us back to this place? Otherwise, you have to run the marathon that is, you know, the maze as well, you know, that is Forge. That is not knowing where the fuck we are. Mm. So, what do you guys want to do? That would be looking in the books if you want, but at the moment, I think we want to uh, talk, get a message to the king. Uh, yeah, I, I can do that, but we'd want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's get cracking. I was literally going to just read the books to, to, like, wait until the king was ready. Just to wait it out. But, if we, yeah, we could just get that started ourselves. We could ask the guards maybe to send a message. Uh, I'm cool with that. What's everyone else thinking? Hmm. I think the answer is yes, we are all thinking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Fuck's it's the Internet Explorer response time, isn't it? Uh. What's the thought, Scott? Um, really, I'd be fine just going back to go see the king person. Uh, Arya, we'll it's your king. secret. Do, do you want to give it up as a bargaining chip? I mean, You're yeah. Not so much giving up, aren't you? You're just Wait, spending eight what are you hours. giving up? Um, no. the basically the gig, uh, the the idea that she she does. No, uh, the know, thing I'm gonna... I was a confused about is I thought that I'm keeping the, um, you know, the ability secret so that we can convince him to join in to like provide him the way to support his people. Yeah. In exchange for joining in the. Yeah. yeah so that's what... Like, uh, no, no, because oh, no, we're cause, thinking of yeah. trading it for the like, dragon. Sort of yeah. By keeping a secret, dragon. you mean keeping a secret with between the king and us, or keeping a secret what? Not, so, tell, no, no. not yeah. helping them. She's no, she means her ability to do something. She yeah, but I just so didn't let's help guys. It. It's not that I, like guys. I, I, it's not that Arya, you're included in that as well. So listen. Sorry. <laughs> to summarize. 
Arya's dilemma is, currently, I will withhold that I can do this from the king because it's a bargaining chip. That's all of the secret words yeah. involved there. Then, exactly. the problem she's bringing up is, you have talked about trade this info and skill and use for dragon prize, not mm. go help the citadel. Like you yeah, originally so I were. want to know what Arya's thoughts yeah. are on that. Yeah, so we discussed that. There we go, everybody should be on the same page, hopefully. Yeah, like dragon. Mm. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, like well, my only question right now is which is the one that we want more right now? Yeah, Do I mean, the dragon would be better than a half dwarven army. I'd, I'd say get the dwarf army. Alright, so we got two for dragon, one for dwarf. Why doesn't everybody just type in roll 20? What do they think? Dragon okay. or dwarf, right? Just that's a word, right? Everybody type in, I'll just count the words and we'll see where we end up. So wait, because Crumbar fucking hates that dragon. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> to be honest, I only think it should be Dragon simply because, like, I don't think we could convince him to go and fight and possibly lose people if we've I just provided him think... with the means to finally prove how to I don't think we can convince him to send enough. To... Well, I'm mm. thinking mm. more so. Okay, so we know that Arya is cool with it. <laughs> Alive with this, he might later on be willing to send some of his armies and stuff. I don't know. I just don't see Probably how. Like post battle. <laughs> I know what you mean. No, it's yeah. just—it's a tough one though because it was a valid like quandary to bring up, right? Like, what one? We have this bargaining chip that he clearly might want. What do we do with mm -hmm. it? Uh, do we cash it in for help with the White Dragon? Or do we cash it in for Citadel help? Shrug. Everybody seems very focused on Dragon though, so that seemed quite clear. <laughs> well, cool. Cool. I mean, uh, you can do that thing in psychology where you give somebody a deal they're not going to take, and then you also give them a deal that they wouldn't have taken the first time around, but it's much better in comparison to the first deal. Yeah, yeah. We'll ask for something. My, my head hurts now. <laughs> Basically, we know we he's not going to go for the army thing because he values his people it seems that he values his people more than anything else but if we say oh yeah we'll make you have great crops for in exchange for you sending the army he's not gonna go for that but then we're like okay fine we'll then have to do something else we're gonna go for for this dragon to try to get their help in this um can we have like a trinket actually it's a double dragon? win for him because he loses the dragon as well once as well. It's not fond of dragons, so if we can take him miles away, that's another pl plus for him. Mm. Yeah, it's not the worst, is it? To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Best dragon's a far away dragon, right? Yeah. That's, that's why you just run away from Gil, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. Man. Yeah, that's the reason. Kitty, though, what about Kitty? What was Kitty saying about this? Look in the chat. No, he means what is Kitty saying about this? Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, girls. I just found a load of food back here, so I'm, I've just been there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like it's the only time of the week you eat. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a bit really it's snappy around, around this time. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like concentrating on something, and I feel like I should be doing something else, but I can't do other things. So I, have to, I yeah, I'll eat fine, all right. Mm -hmm. It's the day the Asda order arrives, isn't it, Sophie? Um, <laughs> Asda want to sponsor us, they're more than welcome to, but since they don't, oh, what shit. does Katie feel oh, about shit. this? Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, how far away is the dragon that we're after taking? Uh, like, we're we... just under the H. How far away is the dragon? Cause... Definitely above the T. Uh, above the E, anyway. Or... Okay, so it's exactly right. no, so, so user like so we'll be somewhere it quite there, far right? User about mm. there, and as far as you know, the dragon could somewhere be somewhere in that yeah, zone. Right. There. Cool. So we could literally walk out the door and just surprise dragon. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 that, that would be amazing. That is a possibility. Yes. <laughs> but secretly <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, I think if we. Persuade him to like. Well, how to word it? I can do words today. I promise. 
<laughs> Basically, getting the dragon away further away is probably what he would want because you know he's got all that gold and stuff, and I'm pretty sure dragons like the shiny, shiny. So, okay, yeah. So that's my thinking, anyway. Mm -hmm. So I agree with whoever said that first. <laughs> You're getting into the mind of a kleptomaniac, empathising with the dragon. I mean, so I don't have to get into the mindset of a kleptomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> I am one. <laughs> I don't know. But like, sort of. the, okay. the interesting thing here is that, obviously, you just assume he has something that could entice yeah. the white. Yeah. yeah. So, Fair assumption, I mean, but mm -hmm. he's a dwarf. And he's big souls and mines a lot, so... Yeah. It just... It's interesting. I'm intrigued as Ryan, not just the GM. <laughs> just, yeah. I like the thought processes. I yeah, am also figure intrigued. Out what it is. I am also intrigued as I Ryan. don't, actually, to be honest. <laughs> that's that's what the, the power of random chance is for. Um, but yeah, it's also just... Okay. I, I know the mentality of the white. So I know the answers to all of this. It's just really difficult to keep poker face, that's all. Um... Well, thank oh. goodness we're not okay. using video. Mm -hmm. I kind of got like a bit of a disenfranchised, sorrowful kind of vibe from the dragon locking herself away and not kind of having the fire inside her to fight anymore. So I, I, I mean, mm -hmm. kind of thinking the king maybe has taken something from her or... Or something has been taken from her that we can give back or replace. But yeah. And that's just something she's only ever had dealings with dwarfs, right? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we all know what we want to do. We all know mm -hmm, our angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where do you that's tell the guard to escort you to? Back to the king, right? Yeah, to the king. So you can then talk to the king. Hey, the guard. Looks at you and kind of like clears his throat and he says, <clears throat> "The, uh, the king will summon you. I can return you to your chambers if you wish." Yes, please. Please follow, and then he like shuffles off. Unless we want to go to a pub or something like that, but yeah. Probably I mean, not a good idea before negotiation. Actually, nah, just. <laughs> I was gonna say. I mean, <laughs> it's entirely up to you if you want to go to like a a dwarven pub in Forge, which would be pretty awesome. But yeah. Mm. To recall, but he's already That's shuffling off, so yeah, he might want to keep up. Shuffle off to yeah. walk that way. I said just everybody shuffles the same way he shuffles. <laughs> 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 it's just like a multi Python skit though. Uh, but yeah, we just screen wipe to like you guys in the the chambers, I guess. Anything else to be discussed further? Mm. Uh, what do you think, Vampire situation? Rumba, you want to get to the bottom of uh, these Hellblades? Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. We'll probably best speak to the king about them when we go see king. Uh, can ask her about it, though, if you want. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. You, you seem to have a, a bond of vendetta against that vampire now. Yeah. Uh, um, but you seem to know more about the Hellblade stuff, so I, people. Hmm. So. Do you mean that he I, heard like three lines more dialogue than you did from the guy? Is that what you're basing this on? I'm assuming it's yeah. because Crumball was wasted. Probably. <laughs> no, I just mean in game as well. Like I think you were asking more stuff about them than I knew. Mm. Fair. I think it's just well, a best I'll take it on because obviously he felt like you had been wronged by this uh, mind meddler, right? Cunt. Mm. Mind it all. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll give it a look after, I guess. And uh, I know I'm ready for the king. Well, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong. Uh, yeah, I guess, like, <laughs> if he's a chilling out, you know, shooting some pill. Um, some time passes, maybe a couple hours, I, um, and then the door opens and uh, the attendant guy that you've been dealing with is standing there and he's like, I will uh, 
be escorting you now if you wish to get yourselves presentable. And just stands there. I too just stand there, like, because like, what am I supposed to do about yeah. that? <laughs> but it's like picking um... up your swords and stuff like that, right? Like that's kind of what he means because you know that's why you were fashion with all your gear. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Put away any notes and stuff, and any. Yeah. Whatever they else. Um, else getting ready. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Just. Did get you? My chisel, mm -hmm, yeah. Get my chisel together. Yeah, and like I think we can we can just screen wipe right back to the. You know the throne room. Mm. And the attendant says, "Well, he's just gonna approach." And they'll move us back to the, the throne room. Just stomp up like a ball and like, yeah. Oh. God, that's such a cool picture. It's really nice, isn't it? Thank you, Prince of Persia, again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is cool. Just using gold as pavement, paving stones. So <laughs> if you just take a few of them, that'd be it. <laughs> And then, uh, obviously, we've got the wonderful man himself sat in the middle. Uber dad. <laughs> Uber dad. <laughs> <laughs> Surely he'd be the under dad, right? I don't know. <laughs> we've got too many dads to keep track of. This is true. Uh, um, okay. Basti hell of the many dads. <laughs> Yep. So, Sans Hammer? No, it still stands perfectly upright next to him. And I'll nod to my brother respectfully. Mm -hmm. And he's just, he's kind of just there looking down, like puffing at his pipe. As if it's like hard work to get the pipe going. Hmm. Can I. No, that would be fucking preposterous. What was that? Like, right, so, now you need... What was that? Wrong characters. <laughs> what was that? Bring out your stethoscope. <laughs> yeah, because like, I'm a medicine I'm a cleric, right? I was like, is that a health issue? You got bronchitis? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> oh, there was a way to break me. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's as if he's not even noticed you guys like walk up or anything, even though the doors are not quiet into this place. Who, uh, do you want to take the lead? We're going to say yeah, something dumb. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Rich, do you want the blame for fucking this up? I think that's what he said. I mean, that's what I got from that. What about <laughs> one of the, uh, the many other party members we have, they could totally done this one, right? Last one to yes. say, not it. Kitty, uh, not it. Not it. Okay. Okay, so the other three, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know what? They make a good point. If you just, if no one just chooses to ever say it, the game kind of ends. So you were the last one to say not it, I guess, by that definition in Bastia. God. <laughs> I'm gonna, th I'm gonna cock it up. Okay. Would you rather I cock it up? I mean, do you not want to see the king? Because you could just turn around and oh, leave. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my Aya's god, that like totally be on. Aya's like his little bestie now. She should talk to him. Fuck it, I'll stomp up and talk to him then if you want. Yeah, so these are all talk <laughs> like stomped up. No. So ever, uh, okay, so um, we've entered in the room. King is at his throne. So yeah, we've kind of Mm -hmm. Walk up and I'll just look at him and be like, Greetings, King. Have you came to a decision? He kind of puts his hands up, like, or a hand up, sorry, to like acknowledge that you're speaking. And uh, he's still like trying to like puff through this pipe. Um, as it's like, you know, you can finally start to see some of the smoke wisp out of it. And he like kind of coughs and clears his throat and just like taps the pipe, um, the right side up, like, just against the arm of the, the chair and then he puts it back in his mouth and then as if he's savouring the smoke lets out some of the smoke as he sits upright and kind of blows it into the sky 
He's like, yes, I summoned you all back. I have my decision to deliver. Also, have his, wait, who's, who's just... clicking something? Because that's also coming through. Oh, sorry, it was my pen. And uh, I'm just clicking it off. The king's like, well, put your pen away. And then, uh, <laughs> fine, I won't take notes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to click it every two seconds to take notes. Um, I'm nervous to what it would gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually picture the king going, you don't need to click it every two seconds to take notes. <laughs> I totally in character, yeah. I have a broke character once. He says to the group. <laughs> and he says, yes, I have my decision to deliver to you all. And takes like a big draw of his pipe and narrows his eyes. You seem apprehensive. This seems fitting, given the weight to this decision. Mm. Yep. I have one condition, and if this condition is met, I will help. Name it. He's going to say, don't talk with the dragon. Have a plan. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, here we go. walks out from behind the throne. <laughs> well, you see, they need the plan. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, not my eighth husband to be. No. <laughs> um, no, none of that happens because that'd be farcical. <laughs> if only, though. In the comedy version of this game, yeah. Um, yeah in the play. The abridged one, yeah. <laughs> she soliloquies off to the side. Who are you talking to, Dr. Bella? Shut up, it's the audience. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he says, My condition is this that you do not meddle with dragons. Are you dead or serious? Or are you pulling my leg? Because I just said that. No, oh, that's what he's delivering. What you say might also match up with what I have planned, oh, right? Shit. I mean. And he kind of like draws in from his um, his pipe, and he stands on like the throne, uh, on that step, and he looks kind of around at the room, and he says, "You wish to stir things that should be settled long since past." And you can see like he almost like he's running like his fingers across like the arm of the uh, the throne, and he turns and he says. You seek the white, yet none of you have commented on my throne. What's so important about your throne? Maybe now you notice it's a giant chunk of ice. I thought it was like an uncut diamond. Oh! Yeah, That's you're meant to think that. <laughs> mm. I think I nearly got close to it. Why would he hit? Have have sat on ice though? Like that would have been cold. Like UTI. <laughs> hello, anybody? You think so? But it makes sense why he can't like ignite the pipe now. Mm. Cold. He can't ignite the what? Sorry, I'm confused. Dude, he had trouble like lighting up the pipe because he's sitting oh. on like. Oh. oh. Yes. And people made jokes about a drinks color earlier, a uh, last week, and I laughed at that. Mm. Um, maybe it was two weeks ago. But I laughed at that because. I didn't want to really go into the details as to why at that point. Um, but it's like it's funny because it's a big chunk of ice. Mm. And he says this was a bargaining agreement huh. by one of my ancestors and the Winter King, a throne upon which to sit. He promised not to meddle in dwarven affairs. I cannot be seen assisting you if you meddle with dragons. And he, he puffs That's the pipe and kind of sits back down. You have You're my answer. Attached, are you to that throat? <laughs> <laughs> Peels off you the cold that. ice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, oh, sorry, yes. who speaks to him next, right? So he sits back down, stares at the group, puffs his pipe, narrows his eyes, and then who actually delivers the next piece of dialogue? Because everybody spoke at once then. Um, uh, can I say something? Yep, mm -hmm. Andrew, on you go. Um, I'll be asking, pardon my curiosity, but do you happen to know what was it your ancestor gave 
to the Winter King in when making this arrangement, when making Ooh. this pact. A fucking shout. And he kind of puffs the pipe, he says. As I just stated, a promise to not meddle in dragon affairs. And oh. their promise to not meddle in ours. So no items were exchanged from your side to them. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. It like, and you see Ari kind of like deflate. It like twitches his like moustache beard a bit. Mm. And then puts the pipe back in his mouth. And just like draws on it. Waiting on the next person. As he looks at the uh, pipe. Uh, I'll pet. Uh, his okay, pipe on. Yeah, go on. No, no, you go first, bro. I'll just say, uh, I'm afraid these dire circumstances are not the affairs of the dwarves or the dragons, but the affairs of all civilization, all yeah. existence. That's exactly what I was going to say. He, he leans back and goes, and you were built to feel fear, were you? Hmm. That's a really complicated question. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we call that is shut down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at him in intrigue. Mm. Uh, and I think genuinely th wondering how to answer that. Yeah, because I think at that point there's a silence enough that Crumber might then fill that silence, right? Yeah. Um, problem is, is he's yeah, but I mean, he's now been yeah, shut okay. down, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, it makes sense that you'd maybe follow up. Um, but like he may not have been built for fear, but the rest of the world was. Mm. Biatch. <laughs> you think so little of the courage of the peoples of the surface. Courage and fear have, have nothing to do with each other. Some of the bravest things I've done is out of fear. I think you're confusing folly and courage. And he just kind of like nods once, kind of at that. And he says, I know the hearts of dwarves. And I have given you my answer. It is in fact more than I seem myself give. Um, you do not need I'll to respond to me now. You may take the rest of the day and we can convene in the morning. You may stay the night. Who wants to go next? I got the thing. I gotta say, I've got, he looks I've around got. every day and he says, Is there more to discuss? Mm. And he looks around, prompting the next person. We can mm. I'll just say for one last thing, can I look up at him? Maybe even like get a wee bit closer and be like, Ooh. trust me when I say that the last thing I want to do is have to deal with and like what would be like the Orcish equivalent of saying fucking Dragons. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think fucking is an Orcish word. <laughs> yeah. <It> means stalk. <laughs> but. I have, canon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> I have been asked by my order to seek the help of the Red. And it's what my order thinks is best. Uh, you told me your order was leaderless. Who commands you to do this folly to seek out the red? And he says it with a lot of disgust in his tone. Um, what, is the, what is oh. the Drek's title? She's, she's not leaderless. It's just going down. She's a, a acting bit. high commander. It's a Drek yes, Adanesh that. is what her uh, title is at the moment. So acting might not be as important anymore given the lack of gill for so long. 
so that I don't fuck it up, yes, I say that to him. And, uh, and he says, he kind of like mulls it over, the pipe moves from one side of the mouth to the other. And he's like, this Adanesh commanded you to seek the help of the Red. What folly do they seek? The Red is known for its destruction. Yes, and, right and now, it, it will be the end of their reign over the Golden Citadel. It would be a pri cheap price to pay the loss of the Golden Citadel to save the world. I mean, he looks at you and he says, You think highly of that sacrifice. The Golden Citadel can fall to demons and dragons all the same. What's to say Whoa. the engine of destruction would not then fall in league with these demons? Because in their nature, I am told demons are born of destruction. Have you not considered this? It is a possibility. Why do you trust this Adonesh? He's our boss. He? <laughs> he? <laughs> she. she. And exactly what right do they have? What heritage do they hail from to give orders in the stead of a dragon? Say the gold worm. The trust of the dragon and also hundred years experience. Well. I don't know if you can see what he's angling at. Um Yeah, he's, he's trying to see if he's royal or something like that, I think, but No, he's he's literally asking what race is the Draco. Right. No idea. Is that dwarf thing, by the way? No. Um No, so... she was drow. Yeah. Oh, okay. She wasn't Drow, she was Elven. No, she elven. was. She was a dark elf. She was. Yeah, oh, but oh. still Elven. Yeah. Oh, you guys going to do me like this? I can't believe you. Yeah, they all work for a dark elf. Mother, what the. <laughs> My faith. <laughs> Their faith. It's <laughs> fine, yeah. Elven. I, I think Bastion is going to do the best for us now. Mm hmm. <laughs> And uh, the word obviously like rolls around his mouth a bit when you say Elvin to him. Yeah, it's almost as bad as Troy for the dwarf and he says, king, so. Elvin, you say. And he looks at you and yeah. he just he waits like a split second. I am. Um, if you're not going to fill in the blank, you will say something so you can let me know <laughs> if you're going to answer him or if he's going to have to say more. It's kind of a. So, Darkish elven. <laughs> so a not so light elf, and uh, yeah, the very polite way to refer to them is silver folk, right? That's um, the, the term you would use if you want to be polite about them. Uh, also, this is the entry for uh, Zadreka, by the way, in the NPC list. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And I guess he knows of her. I, I mean, it's not. I, like, if he knew of her, he'd maybe know she was like a dark elf, right? But he had, doesn't seem to know that yet. He seems to be fishing for that answer. Um, yeah. But he's kind of wondering who could follow in the lineage of two golden dragons, right? To lead the yeah. Golden Order. Who's actually up to that task and why have they asked you to go get a red dragon? Isn't that maybe a bit of a, a warning sign to say this person's lost it? You know? So he sat there and he st and obviously if that, that moment passes, do you say Dark Elven or do you not reply to him? What does Reach I'm say? I'm still tempted naughty, by the way. Yeah, Yeah, not. like, why <laughs> does it matter, like... Well, because he specifically asked, that's why. Um, so it just depends yeah. if you want to be, like, dodging the question or not with him. <coughs> he asked yeah, the heritage tempted. of the person giving orders in place of a gold dragon. Yeah. Well, I would just say she's Elven. That, that was said, and then he said yeah, Elven, and he left yeah. a pause. For somebody to fill yeah. in the blank. And I would just nod. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right. As far as I'm concerned, there. Stick with the group. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that yeah. at the moment. Yeah. yeah, and if that, yeah, the pause happens and he says, there are three shards to the elves, if my lore is not mistaken. T 
two of which can be trusted. And he looks around the group. The reason this one gets to breathe my ear, and he just taps the pipe in Ketlith's direction, is because she is not of the third shard. Oh wait, there's Dark Elf, what's the other two? High Elf and Wood Elf. High Elf and Wood Elf, yeah, I thought so. Thought so. Um, there were originally one people, but then they got split. Like well, a page three. Sure. Let's, let's put it this way, right? Um, I think what I would do is I would pipe up and I would say... Gets your pipe out, lights the pipe. It's in my mouth. Just piped up, right? My <laughs> well, not exactly how I meant it, but okay. Um, and uh, basically say that. Um, let me try to figure this out how I say it. Yeah. Basically, say that that this person has raised to the has risen to the level she is in the order and has. Obviously, the confidence of the higher ups in the order, obviously, including the great golden worm. And if they do not, they f consider this specific person to be trustworthy, then I do not see myself in any way. Basically, that, that we would not question it. That, that would kind yeah. of be yeah. what I. Like, um, yeah, basically, uh, they put their trust in her, so you put your trust in yeah. her, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, like, pretty much yeah, the reason why you did actually it, trust her, right? Pretty much yeah, the yeah, reason. Yeah. 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 We cannot judge the entirety of people by the acts of a few, just like mm -hmm. we cannot taint one person with the... It's almost like we were speaking about this off-camera. Up there. <laughs> uh, um, up there people. So on that note then, Bastiel, mm. have you worked out that they all work for a dark elf? Because I think um, it's pretty obvious at this point with your superior wisdom. Yeah, mm. then I'll probably be quaking slightly, maybe rattling a little bit, and I'll turn around. Sorry, I was left on vibrate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at them and in silence, I'll kind of piece things together in my head. Um, and I'm I'm going to wait for um, like a natural cut-off point in the conversation to divert the subject. Yeah, well, I think like maybe Arya just finishes like delivering her. We trust her because the people, you know, of the you know Golden Order, the Great Gold Worm, etc., trusted her to be in that mm. line of succession. Dot dot dot. Not to paraphrase, but yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, then I'll, I'll sharply turn around to look back at the king and I'll say, uh, my king, would you have us believe that your reinforcements would outmatch the destruction of the mighty red one? No, my promise to you is that the destruction will be significantly less than the reds. Hmm. Can you tell that I'm, like, stunned at my own group for what they've just revealed? I tell you what, I'll roll a d20 and I'll add icon level <laughs> stats, right? And we'll wait and see. Because how would you ever know the answer to that? <laughs> Alright, sweet. Um, then I'll look back at them and... No, so, as you look back at him, he then says... Furthermore, if I am indeed your king, when I command it, you will march with them, I assume. And he just puts the pipe back in his mouth. Like he's sipping tea. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, march with the, uh, the army of the dwarves. You just told me I was your king. If so, you are a subject of mine, and thus mine to place where I please. Correct? Well, perhaps that changes on this day. You wish to leave my services so quickly? 
No, no. But I may have to. For the greater good of all living entities. The greater good. The greater good. Clicks to More you flannel. Know. I'm just going to help it. Whenever I hear the greater good, I'm just like, the greater good. I'm oh, well, in my head, usually. <laughs> I'm dead ass wearing a flannel right now. Yeah. Everybody's suddenly in flannel, Dwarf King in flannel. Every, everybody's flannel. I've been exposed. Even the dog that's hidden somewhere in all this gold is in flannel. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah he, like, I think there's a bit of tension in there, I think, definitely, because... You have kind of now just admitted you, without admitting, as it were, um, that you were technically all sent to go find a red dragon because a, a dark elf told you. And this yeah, is I like, wanna, what? I want to convey like reluctance in my tone that I really think it's out of my hands where uh, what the right thing to do would be, and not I'm not being like a bitch about it. So yeah. do you do you mean are you trying to say that to him? Yeah, I just want to convey that. Kind Why not of thing say that to him, like in those like not exact words, but like conversationally you could say that you're right you're gonna like, call me a sissy for talking about my feelings or something he's too masculine is he i mean <laughs> he's a god <laughs> i mean uh, yeah I like almost <laughs> gender neutral by simply being a freaking <laughs> robot that that is <laughs> armor that's been set to life and, and he did he did say where you programmed to feel fear right like were you built exactly. sorry to feel if you're not programmed he wouldn't use that word i don't i just i don't know i don't feel i don't feel like a dwarf would respect me if i start talking about these kind of things you've just told him your word means nothing to him so far so i mean what's he going to respect <laughs> you at the moment for uh, so you may as well go for it right isn't this the hail mary thing you just spoke about two seconds ago right all right fine <laughs> anything but feelings though you know <laughs> mm. uh so yeah, no, I did kind of just, I kind of did say that, right? I kind of did convey that I may have to make sacrifices for the greater good. I mean, I feel like I you don't... could just say that, and then it's said. Yeah, I did. I did say that. Mm, I feel like you said a lot of talking to me, the GM, <laughs> yeah. and not to the king. So. Oh, that was all to the. Okay. I feel like you oh, should just say it, it as best deal. Yeah. <clears throat> right, so go on, give me the line <laughs> to follow up on. No, it, it, he's just essentially waiting on your response to the situation that is, I have given you my answer. The answer okay. is that, you know, if you want dwarven uh, help, you know, you will not pursue the dragons. And then you said, oh, but can you guarantee dwarves more destruction than the red? And he's like, well, no, I'm going to tell you that my dwarves won't do as much destruction. And that is the ideal situation. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll say... <clears throat> uh, my lady of fate, my lady of destiny, put me on a path with these people. Is she also and... one of these silver folk? No, no. You can hear She's the shade in his voice. Yeah. The shade is violet, like their skin. She is... Uh... I guess you could say not of this realm. Um, it it pains me, but um, sacrifices must be made uh, on all sides if civilization is to come out of this um, intact. In response to the thing about allegiance, and would I give up? Give it up? I mean, he just you know, looks like he's mulling it over. And he says, So, you think dwarven lives are not sacrifice enough? <sighs> Let's see. I truly believe, and I'm not the brightest, I'm not my master. I mean, I won't call him my master, I'm not Ulrich. Few but are. Creator would be better. But... <laughs> Progenitor. Yeah, I'm not my creator. But I truly believe there is an outcome where 
we get what we need from the dragons without devastating um, the dwarven way of life. And without dwarven assistance, it would seem, and he stands with that. You may still stay the night, but you will leave tomorrow. I will note your decision. I kind of just like do that, you know, like the kind of put your hands together and kind of hand nod in, mm -hmm. in thanks. Mm -hmm. Anybody else saying anything before you all leave? Um, we should probably mention about the was it hell blade things? Oh, we we should. Oh, we should use the fucking bargaining chip. I oh, <laughs> the whole well, reason we came here. That too. But it is oh, keep I was waiting. Cut me off. <laughs> Sorry, that then. So let's take a wee pause here, right? Let's take a wee pause. <clears throat> Right. So, yes, you haven't brought up your bargaining chip at all. That's fine, right? It's almost like the Dwarf King said, here, have everything you want except half of what you wanted. So, mm. that seemed to be rug from under your feet. But, he has literally offered you how to complete a goal. And you all said no. <laughs> has he? Yeah, the Dwarven King goal. Yeah, the one of get the dwarves to help the Citadel. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Maybe you should click your pen and take some notes. Oh... Because um, the older right. conversation was him saying, I will send dwarves to the citadel to fight the demons, yeah, but the but price is, it, yeah. do not go get dragons. Yeah, so it doesn't really... It completes that uh, goal, that's all I said. It that goal, but not in the way that we want it to complete. I never said that's how goals are always going to be completed, buddy. But, um, yeah, hmm. it's used actively avoiding that completion, right? Yeah. Okay, but so you still have like a moment to finish the conversation, but he has stood up and is expecting you all to leave. So keep in mind, this might be the last thing he's ever said to him. Okay, here's the th here's what I'm thinking, right? I'm first of all, <laughs> first of all, need to talk to him about the hell guard, whatever people they were called. Do not forget what he said at dinner. What? They're not under his jurisdiction, so why would he care? Not affiliated. Right, 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 yeah. Um... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Either we use the bargaining tri tri yeah, the yep, bargaining yep. Mm -hmm. from Adri uh, to see if we can get from that Aria, to but yeah. mm -hmm. Aria, Adri, who are people anymore, Ryan? I know. Uh, I'm so it's many. It's my fault. I chose names. <laughs> or, Some of them mine. what about if we just try lying to him and go, you know what, yep, you're right, we won't go seek the help of the dragon. He sends his army down, then we fuck off up north anyway. Best, uh, I mean. That has the potential of going very badly. Ba so, Bastille doesn't believe for a second that it's possible to lie to like deceive him. <laughs> he thinks too not highly. Not just of him. that. Not just that. Think of it this way: we no, we can't put magic in this room. We don't know if we can say lie in this room. Lies in this room. Have we said anything that's a lie in this room? Not we to don't my know that. No. <laughs> exactly. That's why I've been very specific so, about are, are you trying to deceive him or not. Uh -huh. See, maybe I want to... I'm not saying that there is zones of truth spells that Crumbar is fully aware of because he has them. I'm yeah, not saying that. that. Can I check? Can I check for such a spell? No. <laughs> maybe a you mage spell to take magic. Yeah, maybe that would. But uh, <laughs> you penis, right? I'm I'm just no. playing by the rules I've got. <laughs> I'm no, still Jenny from to... the block. No, wait. <laughs> right, so are you? You were a thought process? So I, I, I know, I know. You railed. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so first off, we don't know if we can lie to him. Second off, we don't know what's more important because he could say, yeah, I'm sending people to help and he sends like 200 people or whatever, if that, and that doesn't actually help much. And then we've promised to him we don't mess with dragons that could actually have helped a lot more. To put it into perspective then, right, there are probably 200 or less paladins in the world. Hmm. Right? So... Oh. Two seconds, guys. Let's put that out there, right? That is roughly yeah. the number, like, yeah. What do you think of Reach? Uh, 
Stu. Well, I still don't actually understand, but like, if we offer them that, ask them what kind of payment could they give us, ideally we want that thrown. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just go do it anyway yeah, you slowly <laughs> drag the entire throne yeah. up a hill yeah. alright guys I'm sure Bastio could get a whole side himself and Crumbar myself could get the other side mm. <laughs> Kitty sits what on am it. I doing yeah. now? <laughs> taking a throne with us no, so Stu's talking Aye. us through his idea where he's like right, if we can somehow make him part with the ancestral throne that signifies <laughs> peace between dwarves and dragons yeah. Yep. Don't you know that attached mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, that will be a clear symbol of them interfering. What we need to figure out is a way in which we could go to the dragons and seek their help and somehow be completely independent and in no way associated to how the dwarves ended up helping. Because the dwarves. Don't so you want to go lie to a dragon, dragon after this, is what you're saying? No, I don't want to. No, that's what I'm, doing. I'm, I'm trying to do that thing where you make everybody happy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is just impossible. Lying by omission. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I don't want to lie. I just want to find something that would make everybody happy. It's like I don't want to lie. I want to tell the correct truths. <laughs> well, exactly. you can. You can do that, right? You can. Uh, you can just like, ask him what it would take. I guess. Yeah, but he says he doesn't want to be involved. That's what I was trying to do. Like. Uh, just go for it on right. another note. Uh, if you can, it's a hundred feet or something like that. Your spell or two hundred feet. If you can make two hundred feet of extremely fertile land for them, it'll stay always very fertile. How much would yeah. it be worth to them? Uh, and we just oh. the red loads of gold. <laughs> right. Yeah, but if we get, if he gives us lots of gold, dragons are a bit meh about gold. I would assume they have. Tons of gold by now. Like to we, get we, the general store is just go. They never have enough gold. <laughs> I've got a, like a cool <laughs> idea. Okay, the what's your cool idea? Uh, how well, much gold do you think that's worth? <laughs> All of well, it. like when when remember like when he was off talking to Arya, he he mentioned he talked about his un, uh, following in his ancestors' footsteps and stuff. So mm-hmm. this is a kind of a situation where is it what like. Your bargaining chip, you could be like. You're, it's like you're, he has to choose so. which just. way he wants to follow his ancestors, either giving the Dwarven people like food or uh, caving on that pact or, or, or staying true to that pact. No, I'm thinking something else. I'm no, thinking yeah. by being the person that somehow made peace between like made everybody work together then he would have his name and history a lot more than oh, yeah. any other ancestors broken the mold kind of thing okay i love that like, that's what i'm trying that's what i'm saying i'm finding it hard to figure out how to make everybody happy without making him in any way break that 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 ah, uh, right. i see what you mean because yeah if i Make it so that they all a, get along. A new pact with and the dragons, them. then. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, one uh, that the dragons pact. protect them. Mm-hmm. We can make it like a three way pact between him and essentially the great golden worm, the Drekka in absence, whatever. And you. That and you. And like, if we can make a three way pact between them, <laughs> then he would make. Uh, he would stay in history as the the dwarven king that has made peace between the dragons and made them work together to defeat the scourge. The pack included the chromatic, didn't it? I didn't mention that. Mm. It did, yes or no? Just the it, just the uh, the white. Yeah, that I believe it was between the white, the dwarf king, and the Drekka acting right, on behalf yeah. of the golden. But what I said then, yeah. What about that, Adri? Because that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out here, and I, I'll give you. Uh, so we tell him if he gives the throne back, we make a new treaty with the dragons to protect them. Yeah, and we'll make his land fertile. But that's kind of like what I'm trying to figure out, and especially wording it is even more difficult, as you can see. Oh, well worded. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'd be thinking to put him as the the bargaining chip. Like he gets the thing, and he gets the. 
Does Kitlith have any thoughts on the subject at all? Mm. <clears throat> I mean... Mm. Not particularly, like, you all seem to have it well underhand, like, well underway. Underhand is the first thing that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> Fucking rogues. Mm. <laughs> um, right, I think really we're breaking this down to eventually being like, right, are we going to get the Dwarf King's help, the Dragon's help, or are we going to try for both? Because both is going to seem pretty fucking hard. I think if push comes to shove, we're probably choosing the Dragon one anyway, so we may as well exhaust every option here with trying to do both before we commit to the dragon, right? Yeah. I can't but. really think of options here, so I'll let you guys choose what best going forward. So the the one fallback, the main one, is the uh, bargaining chip. The promise of feeding the dwarves. Can I mean um, not? And the idea of that being truer to his ancestors than maintaining this pact. Everyone just like. Oh, we're all here. I'm just. Yeah, no, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 I'm doing that thing on stage where I stand in the dark quietly while the group finish their <laughs> soliloquy to the audience. Uh, echo, echo. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> do I try to propose to him, guys? Do it, do it, do it, do it, whatever you want. I tried everything I had. I thought everyone should just exhaust every option. Yeah, it's just, I don't think I was made to be a persuasive sort of person. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what I, you, you know what, I agree, give it a bath. To, 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 to convince people, because if some You're overthinking it, you're overthinking it, you're just, you're trying to avoid the confrontation, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're trying to avoid you know the confrontation I, I, with the scene, I, I, so let's yeah, just I engage I, with the scene. I, I, yeah. Adri, you have you're up. You have to do it. Go. Yeah, think of it like this. I haven't had to make a charisma roll, and I don't shut up. So I think you're safe to just express. <laughs> oh, we know you don't shut up, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that's why I love you both. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, um, so I will. Arya is once again gonna like you know lift her head straight and her spine like breathe in and just uh, prepare herself for the barrage of of words she's got to say and um, says so uh, what we offer you here is the opportunity to engrave your name in history in a way that's even more significant than your ancestors because what happens here is if we manage get this done you will remain the person that has managed to create a pact between the great golden worm and the winter king in a time where being united and working towards defeating the scourge is more important than any past squabbles any of those involved may have had this in itself would be a great, great thing. I do not ask you to um, renege, 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 renege to, yeah, that's fine. Renege. Gotcha. Wow. The, um, nice. Shut up. The no, pact no, I'll really... out oh, the real. Keep going. with yeah. the Winter King. What I ask is to try to find a way in which we can all work together towards defeating this and there is something that we can offer you as a as a sign of, of of goodwill in this in this all something that would help a lot i just I, given what you've you've mentioned to me i have been uh, i don't want to say blessed because that's messed up um <coughs> i've the, the powers that I have, 
I, I may not have this disclosed them fully when we talked. Um, yes, I can create vegetation of quite a big um, scale um, instantly with my magic. But if I focus, if I actually put a lot of time and, and effort into it, I can make it so that the soil becomes plentiful and brings more yield than it would have otherwise. This would help with the issue that you are having. This would help you feed your people while also um, forging an alliance between these I don't want to say gods, creatures. I don't know how to put it. Dragons? Well, Entities. Yeah, these these um, capricious and um, entirely too um, difficult personalities. Nice. Would this be to your liking, Taya? And he, uh, he looks at you, and he kind of, you know, grips the pipe a little bit tighter. And he says, your words carry such weight of hope to them, and they speak to me deeply. Your willingness to share your gifts in aid of my people would be most appreciated by me and future generations of dwarves granting them an independence they have never been able to foresee themselves but you ask this at the price of their current safety this pact, ages old as it may be, currently keeps my people safe from danger. This, and he gestures like behind him to the, the throne, this is a mere token of the pact to remind us as we are not as long lived as the Winter King. You seem to put more weight to it than it holds. The Winter King would not care for this item back. I dare say it would get lost on the journey before it ever found its way back to her. And he kind of looks at the group for a bit. And he says, Your efforts we are appreciated, Arya. However, I cannot sacrifice peace for independence. And there is definitely like a tone of like sorrow to like that statement. Like he would want desperately to say yes to that, right? But clearly can't. Um, when he says that, okay. I'm gonna just kind of like step forward and button. Just like years of being peaceful for this long. What was it you were fighting over in the first place exactly? What does anyone cool. fight over? Cool. <laughs> You're in Spandau cool. Ballet's cool. this place, yeah. Cool. <laughs> it obviously doesn't, but yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just he says that to you like, and what does anyone fight over? Things that seem important to them at the time. There is peace now. Why would I risk this? Because you risk it now for the chance to avoid a worse war that is to come. But a better future for your people. Or that. I don't know. Words and shit. Let me hit something with a sword. Both. For a future for your people. Fine. Yeah, if this war down south 
not one dwarf could for go. for a future to begin with, because we don't know where the next hellhole's gonna pop up. How awkward it would be if it was just underneath them, right? Yeah. How awkward would it be if he was the hellhole? Just opens up. No, it doesn't <laughs> happen. Um, Boys. Yeah, and he does. He, he obviously is. He's like standing there, and he's like, you can clearly see the guy's in a bit of pain, right? Like he's not necessarily um, super happy at the fact that he's not able to just be like, yeah, cool, that's amazing. Let's do the thing together for my people. Yeah. But at the same time, he's pretty much said. You have two options. Uh, so I think he will actually just directly say, "It right. seems you have made your decision." Well, I would rather get the help from the dwarf king than a dragon. But I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, battering! What if, right? We go to the dragon. Mm. And if we get something from her to state that him sending armies is not breaking the pact he has with her, then we get it all. Okay. Ooh, it doesn't good, right? help our issue that we still have no clue what we're bringing the dragon to begin with, but it would mean not having to choose. Though, granted, we would get things into completely the other order because ideally we'd want him to send... Well, why not ask him that and see what he says? Yeah. I, I will, I will, I'll, I'm just saying that that's, that's another... That's the best idea. We've yeah, so best far. idea so far. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll, I'll once again kind of like, you know, like take a like sudden deep breath and be like, oh, you know, like you obviously figure out, oh, she's got another idea now. And um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll once again ask, I'll be like, Sire, but if we were to go to the Winter King and secure her approval of this, would you, in if we also secured proof from her that, that, that you interfering and sending forces would not break the alliance that the dragon and the dwarves have, would it then be um, not acceptable? Would it then be possible for you to, would you be willing then to send some forces to aid with this? If we were to provide you with proof that you will not have any consequences from the Winter King in relation with you helping out. He stands there and he uh, kind of looks at the group, kind of more with his eyes than with his head, if that makes sense, and uh, kind of fidgets with the pipe in his hands. Like almost like turning it over in his hands. You just hear like the big obviously like, the door noises opening in the distance, but they do sound so far away, so it's almost like a distant echo at this point. But let's face it, his attendants, you know, can come and go as they please anyway, since one of them's still waiting at the main entrance that you were walked in as well. Mm. So he doesn't even like flinch at that. And he he sits on the chair. And you can see like he's like gripping like the arms of the chair and stuff as if like reminding himself of it and he says this assumes you can secure the white's assistance and is not just a death sentence for yourself and my people how do i know you will not go and defend the white I didn't quite catch that. How does he know that I will not go and what? Defend the white. Defend the white. Oh, offend. Offend. Oh, offend. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. I he's saying, what white. makes you think you can go convince the white? Is basically what he's saying, right? Because even going there and saying, by the way, the dwarfs want a new peace agreement. 
could be great for everybody. Might be like, oh fuck them if they're not happy with their chair. Your master lawkeeper, Don Drabella. I was, I was, I was, um, I think I'm just gonna say that that's a risk that we will, we will have to assume because we want to make sure that everybody's, basically that this is the, this is the sort of threat that we need to all get united against. When we go to the way, we go prepared. So he stands uh, yeah, at that, well, so he stands at what, like, Arya says to him, and he says, Unfortunately, it is not a risk I give to you to take. I will not allow you to leave, Forge. If you intend to upset this balance, you do not speak for the Dwarven people's safety. And then with that, he just, like, stops speaking, like, mid-sentence, and he looks down at his hand. And then there's like blood coming from his mouth. What? And then, Bronco. I would not put. And then you just can head see head. a big blade sticking out of his chest, and the entire the throne, fuck? and the entire throne shatters, and there's just this loud, horrible shattering noise, um, of like, you know, ice smashing. And then right. the king falls to his knees. And then you see someone pull a spear out of the back. I fucking the king. knew you were going to say that, and I know exactly who it's going to be. And this person, I've got very fancy art of them. Ooh! All dressed yeah. in a black, wielding a big long spear. Just pulls the spear out, spins it round, and clangs it on the kind of ground in between the fragments of the throne. And looks up, and it says, you should be running. And we end the session there. Oh. Healing word! I want to cast healing word! <laughs> Anti magic field. I need you. <laughs> so. So. The fuck is this anime, dude? <laughs> Who the fuck he is? Elvish. Ryan, I fucking I hate you. Yard. That was sick. We really wish you had purple skin, though, because you wouldn't be. I fucking knew it, you cheeky cunt. That was so, ideal. So. <laughs> we needed that. My next action next turn is still gonna be healing word. I'm just saying. I've got something for this. So. Fuck, we can't be magic in here. So. What are we gonna call the session? Uh, I have a suggestion. Um. It came to me like moments ago. What? Goal failed? Fuck! Wait, 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 wait. It might not be failed. Price uh, the yeah, price of peace is what I was thinking earlier. Because it's literally what was that like other line? peace. You did a line of like peace versus uh, independence. Yes. All negotiating and no <laughs> solution. Yeah, you risk mm -hmm. peace for independence. Just doing a Scottish version it doesn't. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> Worth a try though. Yeah. See the thing Just is, we've, we've we've still not failed goal four. Because mm. it wasn't to get the dwarf king to help him; it was to get the dwarves to help us. Mm -hmm. And do you think they're gonna help us now that we have been alone in the room with their king that suddenly and out of a out of the blue got killed? I mean, how the fuck did that person even suck in? I don't know. I, I, I can guess. I mean, see when I said there was a door opening earlier? Like. Did you? Um, yeah, I did. Yeah. I completely. And I mentioned it, how their so... attendants come and go as they please anyway, so it wasn't weird. Turns out, yeah, yeah. it was a bit weird. Fuck. Mm. Um, I mean, I imagine <laughs> the stealth person must have had not to be noticed by any of us. Yeah, because this place is pretty open, right? Um, yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking. But, are we going for the Price of Peace or is there any other suggestions? Price of Peace is good. Yeah, yeah it's it cost good. his life. Yeah. Mm, right. Um, so, let's talk about goals, shall we? Fuck you. Can that oh be a goal? Uh, it can be, but it's more of a person oh. to person goal, Scott. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> um, right, so. Are there, are there any changes to the goals 
that you wish to make based on what just happened. Kill this motherfucker. I wanted to make something happen for the 50th, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, you got it. And you had to do fucking that. Yeah. I will do anything for the 50th, but I won't do that. Um, so, <laughs> goals. Goal one, keeping it or changing it? Find the white dragon. Well, yep, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get that. <laughs> Let's see. Find the white, yeah. Goal two. This is fun. Uh, we have investigated that wording of that is bad. Like goal two. So we have investigated it. Yeah, we, we are working on that. <laughs> yes, yeah, but, but you still don't know anything about it, right? It's like. Uh, there's yeah. nothing in there about the goal. <laughs> <for that. laughs> no, but it says investigate who or what it is. You don't know who or what it is, and you yeah. have investigated it a lot, and you don't know who or what it is. Yeah, but it doesn't say find out who or what it is. We don't. It's investigated. Yeah. It's our fault. Well, it is. It's maybe why it's never going to be complete. <laughs> the investigation is so far very flimsy and the results are meh so I, but uh, either but, way uh, I goal doesn't ask what the results are I think Stu is being Stu about it that's all yeah. carry on no, you're right you're are right, we keeping to or are we changing to no I think we should, should find out because I think we should it should be related to this discover mofo that 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 their king of king ah kill a king in our presence I mean it makes us look like idiots because mm. I, uh, I tried a cascading word, but it's not going to work in this room. It, well, it just means we're, we're good. Then we cast it. So don't worry, <laughs> fine. next time. Believe me, we're fine. He's going to be dead anyway before we get him out. <laughs> Will he? Oh. Said reach to the cleric. <laughs> Will he? <laughs> <laughs> Your cleric magic might not work in here. Ho -ho. Drag his ass so, out. Fine. Anyway. Guys, keep focusing there in the gold chat yeah. for now and we can yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. the game okay. in a second that goes for you as yeah, well Scott right. so mm -hmm. goals right. one and two they seem to be staying uh, yeah I guess oops it's fine yeah. don't ignore it carry on okay okay so goal one and two are staying yes mm -hmm. yeah goal, yeah. goal three as we can't really change yeah. any goals at the moment so we need to wait yeah we didn't, really, we didn't really have much much of a chance to work on three but to be we'll honest, I think either two or three should be shelved for at least for a little while, simply so that we can put something in relation to this guy. Yeah, I, I agree. Want to find out who he is, who his mama is, who his daddy is, why he wanted to kill the king, you know, everything. I want to find out, and I want to freaking smack him in the face. Yeah, that's what I was saying <laughs> last time. I was like, we don't necessarily all have to learn the same language. Like, if it comes yeah. up, we can read it and tell the rest yeah. of the party what it says. Like, we don't all yeah. have to know everything. Um, so I'm cool with shelving that. In exchange for, um, defeat hmm. assassin. Kind of. Plot, plot. Um. So you want to be in the room with two dead people instead of one? <laughs> <laughs> no, because 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 one of us is going to drag the king out and heal him, and the other one. Yeah, the rest of us are hopefully going to be right, able to so kill this guy. Purely from a mechanical point of view, this isn't me saying what will and won't work, right? Because again, why the magic stuff that was tried before didn't work, you'll never, like, you don't know, right? But the um, the walkway in is longer than, you know. Oh, fine. It's, it's, a, it's about, like, you know, a minute. Right, of walking, which means... Oh, that's oh, real convenient. Which means... For who walking, no, no. you say? Which means the... Something like 18 Dang seconds it would take for him to die would expire based on death saves per turn. If that's what the mechanics you are thinking about. It's not what I'm thinking about or why I've designed the scene this way. It's just the way the scene went. Yeah, but on his 10 turns for a normal person working, I can do it in half the time. Uh, uh, what do, what, do, oh, what yes. do you mean 10 turns for a normal person working? What People die in 3 turns. Minute. Yeah, you said it was a minute. Uh, for yeah, the, but you also uh, need to drag someone. You are not strong enough yeah. to drag him at the speed right. you can run at. Right. If he dies, can we, like, steal his hammer? Bloody hell! Hey, that's my relative, <laughs> hammer. 
Exactly. I'm trying to reunite a fucking family here by giving it to you. You're just, you're just from our class. Steal him. So let's, let's focus on goals, shall we? Um, okay. Uh, so, two or three, what we're shelving? Well, we've got what we're swapping it for is the more important. Yeah, like what is the new goal swapping is the for, important bit. Um, uh, Ryan, did you maybe see? I did not. Uh, I've got a goal idea, but I don't know if it will be. You also have a voice. Say the words. Um, so, it's obviously a player issue versus a crumbar issue, right? Scott? Yeah. The reason it's for that is um, I just don't think they'll go for it. Right. Sure. I'll, right? I'll, 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 I shall I shall leave that one then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I apprehend assassin. Yeah. Mm. Is that doable? Or do we think this assassin is going to kick our ass? So I'm trying to think of a way that we can word it so it's not so auto-completely. Uh, yeah. Probably um, when they capture them. What's like, like, uncover the plot? Like, you know what I mean? You there, tell us your plot! Yeah. It's for unrelated reasons to your actions, honest. <laughs> no, it's before you die, can you tell us what the plot is? <laughs> yes, yeah, could, like, could you monologue, yeah, please? Work out like why he's assassinating people and stuff. Why he killed the king or tried? Probably yeah, to understand books. what just happened. Understand these motives. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Yeah. True. yeah, but I mean, like you don't need to be not dwarven to want to kill someone. And I'm he curious if there's elvish. a connection between him and the... Does he look like a dark elf? Nope. Yes. <sighs> nope. No purple skin. <laughs> right. There's no skin colour, so I was wondering about that. But he looks elvish and, yeah, dark and light would just be skin colour. So he's um, pale-skinned, long black hair, very well-dressed. That's all you've got going. And holds his, a spear and has stabbed the king through the throne made by the Winter King. Damn it, probably not the sort of guy we want to fight. That's a glorious death right there. Shattering the symbol of peace between the dragon and the dwarven people. It's not like that's going to resonate all the way back, right? Who nah. would want... Quickly, glue the throne back together! <laughs> Who would want the dwarves and the dragons not to have peace anymore? Well, no. Figure out who the enemies of the of the dwarves were. It, well, sound, sort of it sounds like you maybe need a bit more time to work on that goal because I don't think there's any yeah. point shelving it until you've come up with something. Maybe that can be a through the week chat. Um, yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It just means it needs to. It, it seems like you need to kind of like let it unspool a bit more, maybe, and then yeah. or leave the ones that are in for the moment because, quite frankly, also they should probably just stay. I, right. I'm assuming we're keeping the rest of the goals as is, four and yeah, five. Yeah. Okay, well with that then, let's do our wrap-up chat, shall we? I sounds Kitty, obviously. I, so why don't you start us off, uh, let's start with Reach. Uh, still stuck in this hole. <laughs> <laughs> At least not a hell hole, but we're still in a hole. Uh, it's a hole of a different nature, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I did think we were going to get moving next week, but we're probably not. Yeah. You might want to move faster, in fact, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this depends. Yeah, it looks yeah. like we're stuck in Dwarfland for a while. We're either stuck here or we're running out as one or the other, yeah. And we're, running out, we're running out with the army we wanted, so we're sorted. That I way. will give you this as well. You do know that there is at least a quick way between Forge and the Citadel. Because you know there's the teleporting circles. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, there are definitely ways out. You know that, at least. Whether or not there's a secret other door elsewhere that gets you out to, like, the forest of, you know, whatever. I'm um, sure, right? You just might need to look for shit like that, if that is indeed the case. Mm. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, dude? 
one thing I don't understand is why are we going after the red instead of the wizard king? Right. Surely it'd be his benefit to. Yeah, because he wants to, land. like, yeah, he wants to rule the world, right? So, wizard, the world wizard king's a cunt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I still think the red dragon's kind of person you'd be yeah. party either. It's uh, badass, though. I would rather. <laughs> I don't know what I'd rather, actually. Yeah, it's not the worst kind of, you know, realization, is it? Maybe Magnus well, the guy to go to. No, 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 no. Let's put it this way. If Magma could be trusted with this, his own daughter would have co-opted his help for closing this instead of doing it on her own and that sort of thing. Yeah, instead but... of getting high on demon power. Yeah, you're right. I like the idea that he's a ton. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We do not want to give that sort of people even more bragging rights about who they saved the world. Yeah, like when the great gold worm couldn't die, stepped in. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I get, I get you. Um, uh, what about uh, Crumbar? Why don't we leave you to last, and we'll uh, move to Bastille? Oh, yeah, good time. Mm. That was a, a lot of careful planning. Everyone got involved, and uh, it went well. There's a lot of tension. And there was a, a ample opportunity to work through it. That was a great um, scene. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed your scenes, like as a group with the, uh, like, the dwarf king. Uh, that was yeah, that a was lot excellent. of fun. I'm, I'm glad it wasn't like stifled by like shitty roles with like random charisma checks and stuff. That was awesome. The no, thing is, though, like, no, nobody was trying to strong arm oh, anyone, awesome. right? You were saying, yeah. I have this thing that will clearly help. Think about it. Right? Like, there was nothing to say, you know, it needs to come down to a shitty role because his stats are better than yours. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only thing would have gotten us any help here would have been the truth, so it's a good thing we kind of stuck to it. That was it. Like, for the most part, like, the only thing you did was omit details that weren't necessarily helpful or relevant in situations. There was no deception, necessarily. So, yeah. yeah. I, I was happy with all yeah, conversations. Yeah, really good. Um... I really quite like Donar Petrovangius, I'm not going to lie. Uh, mm -hmm. Seems like a pretty bitchin' king. Um, uh, is Elstead dead? Best deal? <laughs> we're going to save him, okay. Um, and... No, yeah, I'm happy. We're freaking best, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> <gasps> I have health potions! <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Put it in the gaping wound in his, in his chest. <laughs> It down. Mate, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> like somebody run cover fire, and I'm gonna try. Sorry, but it's your turn to speak, and I keep talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no no yeah, that's that's about it really. It's a good time. Cool. Uh, Arya. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Um, it's okay. So this was a very interesting and nerve wracking session because I was like. I like trying to make everybody happy, which is something I never get to do in real life. In real life, you always have to make a choice, and something will always be a bad yeah. choice. Are you typing again, Bestial? Because God, it's so loud. Yes, it definitely is. No, I'm turning the sound down because uh. I accidentally turned it super loud. Oh, okay. Uh. okay. Yeah, we could all hear that it was super loud. Um, but yeah, so I was really trying to see if there was any way to like make everybody happy and not make anybody betray anybody or break any agreement so I did feel that I, my, at some point my, my head seemed to want to split into a million pieces with so many like I'm also, possible um, things to recommend. I've also <laughs> taken inspiration on your sheet um, for your last oh. like entire dialogue of conversation with the king for Yaria as yeah. well. I feel like that was fairly well deserved. I, um, I feel like there was a lot that you conveyed in a very like realistic way for the king based on the experiences you had with him like solely and as a group and for what you were trying to do for the like the grander scale of everything it's like i will offer you what will help you if you can offer us what will help us to help them that should in theory make everybody happy but then obviously you know other things happen sadly but um, i think that was good as i said i'm not going to be in the habit of awarding for RP reasons, because that's kind of why we're here, right? To RP. But I feel mm. like that was a a big thing, and she did kind of freely give up her like this was my 
bargaining chip thing. Um, mm. I kind of was a, I will throw in my lot with everything here to be, you know, part of the system to make everything else work. Yeah. So that was pretty good. Yeah. No, I, I really enjoyed that, even though, again, initially I was a bit afraid to, like, be the person that, that speaks this because I thought <laughs> I was like, shit, maybe somebody that's got some performance or charisma should be the one talking because I've always tried to play Arya as the person that's kind of like kind of sitting in the shadow, kind of quiet, because she doesn't quite know how to talk around people. She's used to, you know, nature in her books. That's why the Dwarf King took you to the dark to talk to you, right? Um, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but that was, you know, his decision. Arya wouldn't mm. usually be the one to speak up, basically. Also, mostly he just wanted an excuse to, like, feed someone fruit, right? Let's face it, like, this, <laughs> this was his thing. He could like, you as a feeder. Like, we know this. Um... The food as well. <laughs> Anything else you want to add, Arya? Yeah, no, I, I really, really enjoyed that, and I do hate you a little bit for this. Uh, <laughs> for, for, for this. Like, I was like, finally wanting to hear from him what he thinks, and then. Mm. Did. Body. And that guy appeared right. out of nowhere, freaking sneaked past all of us. Yeah. So, yeah, a bit disappointed with myself as well, because obviously, wouldn't have noticed it somehow. But yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, very interesting session overall. Cannot wait for next week. You're a bastard. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> you. Oh, by the way, that's the game done now. By the way, that's us. We're, we're forever. No, I'm kidding. Oh, wait, no, no. I've seen so many people in fan fiction do this, where it's like you get to a, they they built a really so good story. You get to really. I just mean the there. free game is done. Okay. Now it's ten pounds an hour from now on. <laughs> that's it. That's how yeah. it works. Hey, <laughs> you know. This is it. It's the it's a the, it's not even DLC. It's just paid epilogue, right? <laughs> um, but yes, um, Crumber. No, just just no. Fuck you, Ryan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's like I have been foreshadowing this for about what? How many weeks now? Four, maybe five. Um, See, I knew right. Okay, I had a hunch you were going to end it on us bumping into said person. But not said person throwing a fucking spear through Dwarf King's chest, pretty much making everything we've done up to that moment redundant with the Dwarf King. Because I reckon, like, this is just me saying, I think the Dwarf King's going to die. I don't think we're going to be able to save him. Pretty much guaranteed, I would say. So it will be interesting to see what happens. <laughs> but personally, I think he's gonna die. And what I th- from what I think is gonna happen next week, shit's gonna be interesting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I take you back to the cutscenes of Oradak, and uh, then the cutscenes of obviously the. The travelers through the the undermarch, and then up until our finale tonight, um, because let's face it, it was way more cinematic that way. Um, but yeah, I thanks everybody for playing. That was really fun. Okay. You're, you're not getting an "I love you" this time, Mary. That hurt my feelings. Cool. Well, that's, that, that's your last <laughs> session, then, buddy. Goodbye forever. Money <laughs> coming from me, okay? That's what he does. <laughs> I only yeah. do it for Scott's love. That's it. <laughs> Fucking, you're lucky it's your mum's birthday <laughs> <laughs> and Bastille's mum's birthday and you as a yeah. mum's birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lucky the sun aligned with the moon. Yeah. Indeed. Fucking. Yes, goodbye, Look, everybody. I mean, put, put it this goodbye, way. Goodbye, everybody. Say- <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>